like to introduce you to a man called John Bartram. John Bartram is um, someone that I've really enjoyed learning about, reading about. Um, he was actually a horticulturalist, he was a traveler, he was a gardener, he was an herbalist, a botanist, an author. And John Bartram bought 102 acres in 1728 from some Swedish settlers in Pennsylvania. Actually, the land is right along the Schuylkill River uh, in Philadelphia. And he turns this 102 acres into this first garden uh, where he, cre you know, he creates uh, actually this beautiful arboretum and these plants and grow seeds, and he, he becomes this, well, as we know, this first real horticulturalist of the American colonies, the North American colonies. And um, when the Bartram Boxes, the exhibit, came about, I was very excited because I have done some academic research into John Bartram and his son William Bartram because it combines two things that I truly, truly love and I enjoy and I really like reading about and researching, which is botany and art. The, the premise of the Bartram's Boxes Remix exhibition um, has to do with the Center for Art and Wood in Philadelphia collaborating um, with John Bartram's gardens. They had uh, about 14 different species of trees blown down during a windstorm. And so what the, what the center did um, was decided to um, create an exhibition around a challenge to woodworking artists where um, they were asked to create um, designs for pieces that would be built out of materials and wood that came from the, the garden's property um, and also um, conceptually think about those in relation um, to the history of John Bartram's work as a botanist. Um, about two years ago, Albert Lee Koff um, from the Center for Art in Wood in Philadelphia approached me about the possibility of bringing their Bartram's Boxes Remix exhibition to our campus. Um, I was actually thrilled about this um, because not only is it an exhibition of exceptional woodworking um, from 40 different artists around the globe, um, it also, uh, the premise of the exhibition really nicely resonates with the Wood Center's Harvest to Use program. So it's, 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 it's really a privilege to have a show of this caliber on our campus. Uh, there are actually several IUP folks um, represented in the exhibition. My predecessor, Chris Weiland, who actually founded the woodworking, woodworking program here um, and taught for 31 years at IUP, um, has a really lovely piece in the exhibition called Seed Collector. Um, and then his piece in the exhibition is made um, from a chunk of poplar um, that came from the wood that was felled in the Bartram's Gardens. So it's a really lovely abstract um, form that's topped with a very shallow um, bowl shape that actually has gathered into it um, some fountain grass seeds. Um, and so I think, you know, that really um, relates to this whole idea of uh, regeneration um, with the hope that's contained in a seed. One of the pieces that I love is a walking stick, actually, by Hilary Pfeiffer. And um, Hilary made her piece, took inspiration for her piece, actually, from William and the idea of walking. So she created this walking stick, and then it has various carvings on it, these really lovely, um, quirky carvings that are based um, on William's drawings. Um, and I think also this piece speaks um, to the variety, variety of works, but also to the accessibility of the works that um, I think anyone um, from children to adults, um, from all walks of life can find something in this exhibition to relate to. Donald Fortescue and Matt Hebert's piece, um, what they did 
was invite students to whittle little sculptures, um, just tiny objects that would fit in the palm of your hand. And this is a very, you know, low tech um, kind of action, this just knife and piece of wood in hand whittling a shape. And all the, all the, all the whittlings um, were done with wood that had come from the, from the Bartram's Gardens uh, location. And then um, also in keeping with uh, this idea of uh, that Bartram um, transported seeds across the globe, um, there was also a sort of transport part in this piece where the whittlings were all gathered, um, put into these boxes um, that Donald had made with wood from the Bartram's Gardens estate. And then he shipped the whittlings across the country to California, um, where Matthew Aber then turned to digital technology and with um, computer software and 3D modeling actually um, rendered these hand-hewn objects with 3D modeling and then created the negative of those. So in the actual exhibition is not the whittlings that the students did, but the negative space that was created digitally so I've, I've mentioned only a few of the works um, in the Bartram's exhibition that actually have direct ties to IUP, uh, but there are over 15 objects in the exhibition, um, and the, they range greatly in terms of uh, materials and fabrication techniques. One of them has an audio component. Um, one of them is actually motorized. Um, and I just, I just, I can't imagine that anyone wouldn't find something to spark their interest. Um, and uh, I think they're all, because of the idea of boxes and containers that a lot of them refer to, there's also this, this sense of, even though you can't touch, um, this sense of being able to explore and the idea of a container or being able to go inside of something. And a lot of the pieces have several different components. Um, to them and a lot of little objects inside of cabinets, almost a cabinets of curiosity kind of thing going on.